Yeah, oh, oh my god. I have embodied the 1920s. Hello. How's that for drama? All right. If you've been on um, Ye Old Tube for pretty much any amount of time, you might have seen the format of video that's like, I dressed blank for a week. Now me being the very on-trend hip grandpa that I am, this past summer I tried to do one of those videos, which was I dressed Nightcore for a week. Dracula. Hoost. We're back at it, friends. What's going on here? Boy meets world hair. Stop, huh? Except this time, instead of Nightcore, <laughs> dressing as a different decade for a week. I am going to do 1910 through 1970. Now, one thing about these kinds of videos that I quickly realize is that my life is not very interesting. So I'm going to try my best to like find something to do for each of these days, but no promises. In reality, I don't do much. Some of these items are reproduction, some of these items are actually vintage, and some of the decades I want to make the outfit. This channel has not and never will be striving for historical accuracy. I am going to try to replicate the makeup and hair. Some of the stuff I straight up just don't have. Was not about to buy some historical undergarments just for this video. We're just gonna have some fun and go on a little journey here through time. As I'm getting older, I'm just, I don't, I, I don't really have a style. Nah. I am just one big vintage and fantasy potluck. Life is short, dress how you like. As always when dealing with vintage clothing, vintage styles, not vintage values, I do believe that you can kind of curate what you like from an era and translate it into your wardrobe now without actually being a racist or homophobe, or sexist. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by ThreadUp, but instead of a whole thrift haul, my 1920s outfit is almost entirely ThreadUp. Something I really, really enjoy doing is faking vintage by taking modern clothing and making it look like it's old. What it is, is a massive online thrift store. I recommend it to everyone. I use it even when not sponsored. It's just, it's a really good way to find secondhand items and not really have to worry about the stress of going to the thrift store. I find it's a lot easier sometimes to just sit on your couch, scroll on either the website or the app, just narrow it down by color, size, pattern, material. And then if you are looking for a specific brand, like for instance, I did search for a lot of Ralph Lauren because a lot of items from that brand just kind of read vintage already. But if you were looking for like Target or Free People or Reformation, you can get some of your favorite brands for up to 90% off of estimated retail. That is a brief overview of ThreadUp. I'll show you what I ended up getting from them when we do the 1920s. But for now, thank you so much ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. And just for you guys, if you want to save 30% off of your first order, you can head to that link in my description and use my code. Ding ding. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right, so I'm just gonna do my basic Gibson girl Edwardian updo. It's very, very easy. As long as it's close enough, it's fine. I'm kind of nervous about this one only because the more in time you go back style-wise, the more prone you are to receive questions about whether or not you are in a theatrical production. Go ahead and put a lot of dry shampoo in my hair because it's greasy. It's f <laughs> have gone out in like Victorian inspired outfits before and never really thought twice about it. But I think because I'm doing this for a video and because I am painfully alone. <sighs> alone. 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 It's gonna be a little bit more obvious to myself. <laughs> hey, Papa. Oh, he throwing up. Oh, baby, man. The next day. Continuing, uh, because somebody came into my office, threw up, and had a big old swollen face. So I think he might have sniffed something that caused an allergic reaction. I needed to play mama bear yesterday. But we're back, and now I'm going to continue where I left off, which was absolutely no progress done. Flip my whole head and then really, really brush the hair forward and up so that when you go to like make a little Bulbasaur thing, you know, you don't get any gaps. I'll just show you. Floop. 
So essentially, you want to look like Deb from Napoleon Dynamite for a little bit. To take that hair, put the ponytail right about here. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, just kind of wiggle it back down. This is too crazy for you. Sometimes I just twist the ponytail a little. Twirl it and wrap it around in a little bun. Was that explained well? I don't know. I don't really care too much about the back. What the back of my head looks like is none of my business. All right, hair's done, makeup's done, let's get dressed. I have officially passed away, cause of death. This fit. I wanna wear this and only this for the actual rest of my life. <laughs> Who is she and what is she up to? I look like a librarian. Mm, yes! Okay, you know, first of all, I was kind of self-conscious about going out in public like this, but honestly, when you're feeling yourself this much, people will be blessed with my presence. I'm kidding. I thought I would be very self-conscious that this would feel like a costume, and yes, it absolutely does feel like a costume, but a costume that I thoroughly feel like a historic babe in. Bill and Ted got it right. It was gonna rain today and now it's beautiful out, so I feel like I kind of need to take advantage of this. <laughs> I can go grab some, some treats because Nick and I have been watching the newest season of Spring Baking Championship. And so therefore, all I want to eat for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and all of the Hobbit meals in between is cake. I have been influenced. Let's get to it. Thank you for coming with me, because I'm a wuss. Oh no. 1920s, let's go. I am not the biggest fan of either 1920s fashion or makeup. Looking like Robert Pattinson's Batman. I am vengeance. My hair is a bit too long for most 20s fashions. Just for sh and gigs, we are going to, oh my God, I look so scary. <laughs> You. We're just gonna, we're gonna try to use a wig for this. I'm exposing myself a little bit here um, because I did not store these very well when I um, moved. It's a little rough. With a hair straightener, because this is human hair, I, th I think maybe we can salvage it. We're, we're under construction, okay? Pardon our appearance. I'm actually pretty excited for this outfit. I went with more of like a masculine root for this one or like a sportswear kind of look. I definitely didn't go as thin on the eyebrows as they probably would have. I was not ready to commit fully to shaving my brows for this or blocking my brows because that is the actual worst. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh my God. Oh, and you're done. I have embodied the 1920s. Oh, oh my God. Uh. <laughs> so I'm gonna like straighten and then like try to flip in the edges like that. Not great. I think I'm making it worse. Oh no. <laughs> I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. I can virtually feel your faith slipping away. And I don't blame you. We're gonna salvage this, all right? We're gonna make it work. Just bear with me, okay? Everything's fine. What have I done? Yo! Pin it back. 
and then hope that I can find a scarf. <laughs> oh! So starting with the cheapest thing that I got was this J. Crew pullover sweater. $5.99 when the estimated retail price was around 20. And I felt like paired with the right stuff, this could really read as like a sort of like a rugby sweater type thing. From Lauf, Ralf, Lauf Roren, these linen pants. I'm honestly in shock that these are not vintage pants. So they have like that jodhpur shape to them, which is really, really rare. Stinking cute. $25.99 when the estimated retail price was $149. Good stuff. This rugby sweater, which is actually from the rugby line. Hello, rugby. I just thought this looked super freaking cozy. I got this one for $27.99 when the estimated retail price was $89. And then the last thing that I got, tank top, also by Ralph Lauren. Is that not 1920s, like in a nutshell? So this one surprisingly was the most expensive and I got it for $45.99, but it still has the price tag on it, $198 for a tank top. And this is why I use ThreadUp. <laughs> Don't know which one I wanna wear with the outfit quite yet. Today I'm probably gonna end up sewing a lot, so I think I might go with this one. Let's try on the outfit. not very confident in this for like 80% of that getting ready process but I think all I'm saying is do not sleep on accessories. I think the scarf truly truly transformed this look. The pants I cannot believe aren't vintage. Come on! Surprisingly really flattering. They're a little bit see-through. The perfect summer pant. I was thinking out of all of these decades I would struggle the most with the 20s because I don't really resonate with it but i think a really good compromise where it's still kind of my style as far as what i'm doing today unfortunately not a lot i need to actually make my 1930s outfit i don't know that i gave myself enough time for this which is a little alarming but so i actually got a couple patterns a cutesy little pinafore blouse pattern which is also really stinking adorable. It might be nice just to have a comfy, cozy blouse. 1920s and 1930s is definitely my gray area when it comes to fashion history. All right, well, first things first, I'm gonna head out to my barn and see what kind of fabric I have for this. I think I'm gonna go with the blouse just because I'm really worried about time. <laughs> not brown because I'm trying my hardest not to do all brown outfits for this. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got. I am gravitating towards this, which admittedly is a little boring. This is also kind of nice. It's like a yellowy linen bed sheets, I believe. All right, I think I'm gonna go with yellow. It's a little bit more interesting than just cream. <laughs> Not quite um, 1920s speakeasy, but you know what? It is crisp. It's good to work. <laughs> that are gonna go in there. The sleeve, collar, no wait, <laughs> collar <laughs> facing, peplum bottom, which I'm not sure I'm even gonna need. That was pretty simple, although. <laughs> Instructions are pretty equivalent to those like how to draw animal books. Step one, draw a circle. Step two, draw a triangle. Step three, finished. That's kind of what this is like. There's only one page and the first step is like an already finished blouse. So I've got some figuring out to do. Wish me luck. <sighs> All right, I'm tired and hungry. So now that this is done, I need to try this on and make sure it fits. <laughs> but you'll see it tomorrow. Goodbye, 1920s. <sighs> 
Are you ready for 1930s? So I've already gone and, gone, gone and done the makeup. Pretty similar to 1920s, but not as smoky of an eyeball. Last night, I went and I took that same 1920s wig, curled it, pin it back, and maybe use my actual hairline. I'll be honest, I'm a little nervous about the blouse. Kind of a hot mess. If I put like, you know, trousers on it, that it won't be <laughs> as bad. Um, <laughs> This is what your sleep paralysis demon looks like. Sweet dreams. Blech. Okay. What bangs? I don't know them. I look very Betty Boop right now, which I think is authentic, right? Oh my. <laughs> Let's brush. Well, that came out better than I thought it would. <laughs> little Betty Boop. Little Snow White, the one and only time I tried on this blouse, I could barely fit my dome piece through it. Did cut the hole a little bit bigger and I'm hoping that solved the problem. Press F for prayers. Okay, here we go. <laughs> 1930s. So here is the blouse. It was looking a little rough for a while. This right here is still very rough. I need to go in and add stitches to clean up like the fraying, but this was kind of the last minute slit that I added because my head was too big. <laughs> the sleeves were really, really weird looking. Even when I did go in and press it, it was still like, I don't know, they were just making like a really weird shape stitched over the pleats which is not like the prettiest thing, but I think it really helps with the overall shape. Part of this is user error, of course. I'm not skirting the blame here. But aside from that, I think the material that I chose also played a part in that. Probably recommends that you use like a very drapey, heavier fabric so that these sleeves just kind of fall. Silk is probably the recommended fabric for this and not a tablecloth or a curtain. I don't know quite what this is. This one's definitely a bit more stiff and it like kind of just holds its shape. I, it's fine though. I think it's still cute. Plan for today. I need to go to the craft store and grab some things I need to finish my Arwen costume. Then savers because I want to make the 70s outfit for this video. I want to make like a sort of like a cute two-piece jumpsuit kind of thing. I could just check my stash but I think it might be fun to go find kind of a wild and crazy fabric. Oh no. Stay in there. Let's go. had a very wholesome conversation with very sweet older gentleman. As I was browsing, he came over and went, oh, to which I was intrigued. Okay, sorry. There was two girls that got into the car beside me and they looked really cool, so <laughs> scared. Anyways, the older gentleman then said, suspenders. So he was very nice and then he walked away and he came back and he went, I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but you remind me of my grandfather. And I was like, sir, that's the best compliment. <laughs> <laughs> don't know exactly what I'm gonna do for the 70s outfit yet. I think I'm going to check out the pattern that I'm gonna use and see how much it calls for. I am freaking boiling, holy. I'm, I'm gonna go home and then I'm gonna start looking into that pattern. So. Impromptu fabric haul. Pretty brown fabric. Don't know what I'll use this for, but it was brown. These curtains. These bed sheets. I just thought they were pretty and very sound of music, which you know is the vibe. Also these bed sheets. This is one of the options for the 70s jumpsuit. It gives off like a nautical vibe and I'm not sure that quite reads as 70s, so. It's an option. These mint bed sheets. It says it's only a double size and not a king size, so it would be like a really cute kind of spring color. So the pattern I wanna use for the 70s era is for the top and probably add sleeves of my own. And then the bottom, probably these trousers. I thought that I bought a more 70s pant, but I can't seem to find it. So if I find that, that's what I will use. But if not, that will do fine. Sometimes being disorganized 
has its consequences. For some reason, I don't know. I will see you in the 1940s. This room is an actual hobgoblin's lair. That's better. What mess? I see nothing. <laughs> Didn't really feel like curling my hair, which probably would have been the thing to do. But I kind of have this hairstyle that I've been wanting to try now that I have dark hair. Well, first of all, for the bangs, try to use this and do like bumper bangs. Something I could never really do when I had red hair, a hairnet like so. This one I just grabbed from an unopened um, wig bag that I had. Theoretically, I should be able to just sort of bunch up my hair and then put it in the hairnet. Look like I curled it, hopefully. All right, so I have that hair and I'm gonna wrap and spread out the hair a little bit and then bring it this way and then pin. These edges are still a bit obvious. Gonna make another little roll. Now that I look like Rachel from Blade Runner, I'm gonna give this a shot. Oh God. Not bad. Now my hair is kind of thin, so if I had curled this, I think it would look a little bit more voluminous. I might add like a ribbon here. Yeah, let's do that. I really need to watch those videos on how to make a perfect bow. <laughs> Good enough. Let's get dressed. This dress is toy. <laughs> All right, so unfortunately it is a very rainy, gross day outside. Probably won't go anywhere today. <laughs> I do have something to work on and that is the 70s jumpsuit thing that I wanna make. I sorted out all the patterns that I'm gonna be using. So I'll tell you what, because we're not going anywhere today. First thing I'm gonna freaking do. <sighs> Ooh, I'm so much shorter. <sighs> not the most comfortable sewing attire, but I think we can, I think we can do it. <laughs> Let's make a freaking jumpsuit. All right, here's my attempt to Frankenstein some of these pattern pieces. From one pattern, we have the top, which is the front and the back. And then the sleeve pattern, which is actually from a 1930s pattern. This one right here, the trousers. So the front, the back, and the waistband. We might actually be able to do this. I'm gonna iron this out before I start cutting, but I just want to delay all this out and see. I guess we'll find out. I'm gonna start pinning and cutting. Okay, here we go. I hate sewing pants. There are the pants so far. They're fine. They're not quite as groovy as I thought they were gonna be. I feel like when you look at the pattern, they're a little bit more wide than they actually are, right? It's a little bit of a bummer, but we persevere. I'm gonna move on to the bodice. Also, yes, I messed up on these pants like two times. Did you even sew trousers if you didn't put something backwards or inside out and have to redo it? Wah, wah. Let's move on. Uh, yep, the top is done. I don't know that it's gonna read 70s. Right now it's kind of just reading Princess Jasmine and uh, not exactly what I was going for. I'm gonna try to wear it. And if it just doesn't read 70s with the hair and makeup, I have a 70s jumpsuit that I just got, so I'll just use that. You got 30 more years till you can see this, but stay tuned, I guess. I don't know. I am going to go get my PJs because this dress is not comfortable, and um, I'll see you in the 1950s. I think I'm gonna do like a high ponytail just because my hair is a little too long for a lot of 50 styles and I don't feel like wearing a wig. So I've already gone ahead and done my 
overnight curler set. We have a couple friends coming over. <laughs> Needless to say, Nick and I have been furiously cleaning all morning. Casual stuff like lint rolling, all of our surfaces and pillows because I'll tell you what, we got some hairy babies. Hairy babies. Okay. These curls don't need to be perfect because they're just going in a ponytail, which is nice. I'm also going to try to wear one of my bullet bras because that's very 50s. <laughs> Plenty of bubbies. My armpits are a little hairy. I'm not gonna apologize for it because this is not the 50s. <laughs> That'll do, pig. Let's get dressed. struggle with 1950s I think just because I don't I don't really have much in way of accessories for it this has a little belt loop right here so I think it should have like a little cute white belt here but I don't have one of them <laughs> it's a linen dress so it's very very comfy and this part reminds me of Cinderella like when all her little woodland creatures are draping ribbons and stuff on her dress. It very much reminds me of that. And that makes me quite happy. It's funny because I started my vintage journey in kind of the 1950s area. And it's funny to see how things change and how your tastes change even over what, six or seven years or something. Thanks. But yeah, I don't know. Cute, comfy, 1950s. <clears throat> I know our friends are coming over, but I don't know if I will film much of that. So we'll see what I do later on in the day. Maybe I can whip out my camera then. Let's do it. But alas, she did not whip out her camera later on. The effects of a drained social battery for this introvert caused her to lay down in complete exhaustion for the rest of the day. But just for your viewing pleasure, here's how to create truly cinematic shots with Rachel Maxey. What? All right, you ready for 60s? I don't know if I am. <laughs> I have an idea of what I want this look to be, but I, I, I'm not super confident in my ability to pull it off, but we're gonna try. I did some of my makeup, but I'm going to finish it on camera. And so I'm going to do pretty much what I did for my Twiggy look, color on my lid, and then like outline that, fake lashes underneath. Yeller. <sighs> okay. I definitely don't have enough patience for makeup. <laughs> If it doesn't look good instantly, I'm like, what the f I also don't have a ton of time to do this because we're going to a two-year-old's birthday party. Am I going to be overdressed? Yeah. Makeup is good enough. <laughs> Already got some like day two or three, I think curls. Now I'm gonna try to use this hair wrap, sort of like a um, circa 2000s bump it. This is glamour. Definitely have an idea of what I'm doing. Now floop. Mm -hmm. I look like Snooky. Like the little like mafia daughter from Zootopia. We're gonna fix it. All right, I am going to fix my bangs and see if that does anything. ridiculous in a groovy way now we're off to target to um, buy the present for said birthday party because we are uh, the best <laughs> may your outfits be groovy and the questions be few okay I'm not gonna lie though I really like this outfit look how much mobility I have ready wow I feel like the skirt is like not short enough to make me uncomfortable it's just like the perfect length and then the boots. I'm not super crazy about the uh, the hair, but the ponytail will be better. I mean, whatever. It's it's pretty obnoxious no matter how you spin it. So 
We're just gonna go with it. Yep, yep. Yes. It's even got emo pants in here. I am vengeance. Like dinosaurs? Who doesn't like dinosaurs? That's what I always say. That usually is true when I say it. <laughs> Last but not least. 70s. Like seventh through eleventh grade. Let us poorly straighten my hair. Don't know, it's been a while. <laughs> yes, nothing smells quite like the high school experience. <laughs> like fried hair. <laughs> I always remember it was like such a big deal when I had days that I would straighten my hair. Oh, Wednesday, I'm straightening my hair. And then I just ended up looking like the fourth member of Hanson. Fun fact, my family used to call me Mbop. I don't have enough patience for this. All right, good enough. <laughs> kind of boring, but whatever. <laughs> I am not going to wear the outfit that I made. This is atrocious. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't. Didn't you wonder but wonder? I think the top is fine, but oh boy. Paired with the pants, it is, it's bad. I just can't do it, I'm sorry. So uh, do I feel like I wasted a whole day of my life? Yeah, yeah I do. They, they ain't it, chief. I'm gonna wear a 70s jumpsuit that I recently acquired. Let's do it. Pocket. Boop. 70s. Oh, the last decade. Now, um, unfortunately, hey unfortunately, all I'm doing today is editing. It's probably a good thing that this jumpsuit is super freaking comfortable. This is so stinking cute. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> I guess we can sort of do like a wrap up type thing. This was. A lot of work, but a ton of fun. If you don't know already, I just, I really enjoy playing dress up, exploring different eras and exploring different styles and seeing what I find jives with me and what doesn't. <laughs> and out of this video, I have gained a few new favorite pieces that I'm totally gonna wear all the time. Primo comfort. <sighs> Can I go that high? Ugh. Ow. And that 60s dress. That's the whole reason I wanted to do this. Also because I find fashion history very interesting and I like to see how things change per decade. These past like three decades, I didn't do much during the day because we had like family and friends social time. Hopefully it was still sort of interesting. <laughs> Enough blabbering. Definitely let me know what era was your favorite. I personally don't know if I have a favorite, which is surprising to me because I thought I would definitely have a least favorite, one that I generally preferred. I'm thinking possibly 1910s might be my favorite. As the kids say, it hits different. But yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Red Up, for sponsoring this video. If you guys wanted to get 30% off of your first order, make sure you head to the link in my description and use my code. I love you whether you're new or old to this channel. If you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel free to subscribe. I upload most Fridays and we have fun here. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, I didn't put pockets in this dress either. Pause and, okay, wow. You're gonna have to live vlog your other ones. Live vlog? Well, like, I don't know. What are you doing now? Yeah, that. Hey everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Look at that happen. Oh my god. Ah. <coughs> Just choked on air. But we're okay now. Okay. Bone, because I don't know how much this was. What is wrong with me? Wish me luck. I'm gonna have to do the turtle. Ready? <gasps> Success. Aside from. Uh, <laughs>
they're very pointy. I don't know. I should have put my lipstick on after. Uh oh. Okay. Huh? And I enjoyed. In <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,